Hey guys, welcome to hindichikademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss cone. And in this video, we are going to discuss this topic under five different sections. So coming to the first section, where we are going to discuss introduction to cone. And in the next section, we are going to deal with how a cone is actually formed. And in the third section, we are going to discuss the curved surface area of cone. And then in the next section, we are going to discuss the total surface area of cone. And in the last section, we are going to deal with volume of a cone. So, coming to the first section, where we are going to define a cone. So, a cone is a solid that has a circular base and a single vertex. So, here in the diagram, you can observe an object which has a single vertex and a circular base. So this object is called as cone. And then if the vertex is over the center of the base, then such cone is called as right cone. And here in the diagram, the vertex V is over the center of the base, that is O over here. So then this cone is called as a right cone. And if the vertex is not over the center of the base, then such cone is called as oblique cone. So here by observing in the diagram, VO will be the height of the cone, whereas OA is the radius. So hence, we can say that VO is the height of the cone, which is represented by the letter H. And the OA is the radius of the base of the cone which is represented by the letter R. And here, the line which stands from the vertex V and touches the side of the base of the cone, then such line is called as a slant height. So here, VA is the slant height and it is represented by the letter L. So here, by observing the cone, we can also see VOA is a right angle triangle which makes 90 degrees at the vertex O. So here, by using the Pythagoras theorem, that is hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square, here we can write hypotenuse square, that is L square, which will be equal to opposite square, that is H square plus adjacent square, which is R square. So here we get the relationship between slant height, height and the radius of the cone as L square is equal to H square plus R square. And coming to the next section where we are going to discuss how a cone is actually formed. So here there is a circle and we already discussed the area, circumference and also the sector of the circle in our previous videos. So this is the sector of a circle. So here cone is formed by bringing together the two radii of the sector of a circle. So this is the sector and these lines represents the radius of the circle and here this is the center of the circle. So thus here the cone with the vertex V and a circular base is formed by just bringing together the two radii of the sector of the circle. And then coming to the length of the arc of the sector. So here this is the length of the arc of the sector which will become the circumference of the base. So here this is the circumference of the base that is a circle. So length of the arc of the sector will be equal to the circumference of the base of a cone. And then coming to the radius of the sector which becomes the slant height L of the cone. So here we can see radius of the sector will be equal to the slant height of the cone. And then area of the sector is the curved surface area of the cone. So here this is the area of sector which will be equal to the curved surface area of cone. So hence remember this that the area of sector will be equal to the lateral surface area or curved surface area of cone. And then coming to the next section where we are going to deal with curved surface area of cone. So here there is a cone. And this area is called as curved surface area. And just now we have discussed the curved surface area of cone will be equal to the area of sector. And then 
We already discussed the area of sector in our previous videos which are given by the formula 1 by 2 into length of arc into the radius. So here length of the arc of the sector becomes the circumference of the base whereas radius becomes the slant height of the cone. So here we get 1 by 2 into the circumference of base that is 2 pi r into the slant height L. And here we already discussed the relationship of slant height, height and radius that is L square is equal to H square and R square. So using that relationship we can also write this formula as pi r into square root of H square plus R square. So here we get curved surface area of a cone as pi r L square units or pi r into square root of H square plus R square square units. And now let me explain an example using this concept. So here the given example is if the diameter of the cone is 14 centimeters and its slant height is 10 centimeters then find lateral surface area. So here we are given with diameter that is the diameter of base as 14 centimeters. So we already know that radius is equal to half of diameter. So we get here 1 by 2 into 14 and then simplifying we get 2 1 time is 2 and 2 7 times is 14. So we get here 7 centimeters as the radius of the base of the sector and then given slant height that is L equal to 10 centimeters and now we have to find the lateral surface area. So we already know that the curved surface area of a sector of a cone is given by the formula pi r L square units. So by substituting the values of r and L in the formula we get 22 divided by 7 which is the value of pi into r that is 7 centimeters into L 10 centimeters. And here by simplifying we get 7 1 time is 7 and 7 1 time is 7 again. So here by multiplying we get the product over here as 220 centimeters square. And then coming to the next section where we are going to deal with total surface area. So total surface area includes the area of all the sides of an object. So the total surface area will be equal to the lateral surface area plus area of the base. So here this is the lateral surface area which is given by the formula pi r L square units plus area of base. So here area of base is nothing but area of circle. So area of circle is given by the formula pi r square. And here by adding both the areas we get pi r L plus pi r square. And then writing pi r as a common factor we get pi r into L plus r. And then writing L equal to under root R square plus H square in the formula we get pi r into square root of R square plus H square plus r. So here we get total surface area of cone as pi r into L plus R square units or pi r into square root of R square plus H square plus R square unit. And now let me explain an example using this formula. Here the given example is if the height of a cone is 15 meters and the diameter is 16 meters then find total surface area. So here this is the height and this is the diameter and we already discussed the total surface area is given by the formula pi r into under root r square plus h square plus r. And here we need the value of r and we are given with diameter. So we already know that radius is equal to half of diameter. So we get here r equal to half of 16 that is 8 meters. And then we are given with height is equal to 15 meters. So substituting both the values of r and h in the formula we get here 22 divided by 7 into the value of r that is 8 over here into square root of r square that is 8 square which is 64 plus h square that is 15 square which is 225 plus r that is plus 8. So here by simplifying we get 22 into 8 which is 176 divided by 7 into and here by adding we get square root of 289 plus 8. So that implies we can write this as 176 divided by 7 into the square root of 289 which is 17 over here plus 8 and here by adding we get 176 divided by 7 into 25. So here by simplifying we get the result over here as 
628.571 meters square as the total surface area. And then coming to the last section where we are going to deal with volume of a cone. So volume is nothing but the amount of space inside an object and also the areas of all the surfaces. So volume of cone will be equal to 1 by 3rd of the volume of cylinder. So here we have a cylinder and also a cone. And here volume of cylinder will be equal to 3 times of the volume of cone. So here we get the formula for volume of cone as 1 by 3 into pi r square h cubic units. Where pi r square h is the formula for volume of cylinder. And now let me explain an example using this formula. So here the given example is. If the area of the base of a cone is 78.5 cm square and if its height is 12 cm then find its volume. So here the area of base that is area of circle is given as 78.5. So here we can write pi r square that is area of circle is equal to 78.5 cm square. And then we are given with height equal to 12 centimeters. That is h equal to 12 centimeters. And then we already know the formula to find the volume of cone. So here volume of cone is given by the formula 1 by 3 into pi r square h cubic units. So substituting the values of area of base and height in the formula. We get 1 by 3 into 78.5 into 12. And here by simplifying. We get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 4 times is 12. And then multiplying the terms we get the product over here as 314 centimeters cube as the volume of cone. So this was the basic introduction on volume of cone. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.